When you think about playing Mega Man X, you're thinking about boss fights, you're thinking about weapons, upgrades, and you're probably thinking about stunt jumps. We're going to review some of the best ones in Mega Man X from 1993. And it's not just me playing today, I've reached out to a group of Twitch streamers who have graciously allowed me to use their clips. Also, I've included these streamers' details here so that you can like, follow, subscribe, wherever you need. Let's get to it. So when a lot of people come to Sting Chameleon stage, they come after they've beaten Launch Octopus, and you got all this nice convenient water down here that helps you boost your jumps. But what if you didn't have that water? Eh, maybe. It didn't look like it went very far. If you want the heart tank, you have to stretch your imagination as far as it'll go. What a lot of us came up with, independently of each other, is maybe you could use the ice lid. That gives this jump a special place in my memories, and probably in yours too if you like to glitch around and push the limits of games. It was this kind of thinking that led to the phantom grab approach too, although that's not an ice lid. Players who have been around the block a few times know about Magic Carpet. This, yes, down. this is a particularly difficult trick to pull off. Uh, it's frame perfect, so if you're a little to the right or the left, you miss the trick. Uh, whoa, well, I got it. Cool. But if you get it, you have this miraculous sequence, yes, where you fly up in the air and skip the whole level and impress all your friends. To this day, it still blows my mind when I see it. It really makes your day. The Buster upgrade was infamous in Nintendo Power Issue 56. Yeah, that's what we read for Game Secrets back in the day. It looks like whoever did their photography didn't even find it, which gives this jump a really special place in my memories. A lot of us found it on our own, like, can we jump up to this spot that has breakable bricks? Yeah, it turns out we can. And it's one of the more challenging jumps that a lot of us did as newer players. Oh! And if you mess it up, then you have to restart the level. So that added risk gave it some spice. Sigma's secret fortress is above a giant cliff. A lot of us found out we could just climb the cliff face. Come on, uh, come on. Uh, ah! Dang it! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry for yours. I can't do it. Regular dash jumps are enough to make quick work of this, but it's still pretty challenging. <laughs> Okay, chameleon it is when we get there then. But for here, we're gonna use this bad boy. Haha. <laughs> go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Woo! I asked King Mike this if he'd be interested in doing OptiFly. OptiFly is really similar to the magic carpet glitch. Is that it? Within a couple of tries, he was ready to take this to market. Come back here, it's leaving. And just being able to safely and effectively clear that chasm that we all died in a hundred times feels great. Now, Spiky Challenge 1, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. You've seen the glitch where you can jump on the spikes and it doesn't hurt you. Well, I thought, I'd like to try to get up the whole elevator this way, where if you jump on the spikes instead of deep adding into them, you won't take any damage. Exploiting this allows you to just keep on climbing up the wall until you reach the very top. Computer players can do this a lot faster than I can, but still, I thought it was a challenge that I couldn't turn away from and it just turned into one of my favorite jumps in the game. Also, spoiler, you can't exit the elevator, so you have to die and respawn outside. And that brings us to the iceless trick jump, and it's called iceless because you're not using the ice sled. On this tower wall, there's a very small space that you can dash jump on and reach the platform above you. It is an emotional experience when you get it for the first time. And even after you've done it a few times, it's still enough to get a rise out of you. Wow. Time to get serious. <laughs> so
So there you have it. Those were some of my favorite stunt jumps in Mega Man X. Again, special thanks to all of the panelists who helped me put this together. Stay tuned. We've got X2 and X3 to follow this. And as always, if you're doing these tricks and having success, tell us about it. We want to be able to cheer you on. Cheers.